So today I'm talking about a Kia with the P0420 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Kia P0420 code? Well, it's a warm-up catalyst efficiency below threshold bank one. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that goes into the cylinders. And then the second thing they do is they also have heater elements built in. And this does a few things to help the system go into what's called a closed loop and they also monitor the catalytic converter and these sensors are reporting to the onboard computer that the catalytic converter has fallen below a 95 percent efficiency and so the onboard computer is sending out this p0420 code and so what are some possible causes well it could be an exhaust leak could be a bad sensor could be a bad catalytic converter and there can also be an engine problem that's causing this but usually when that happens you're going to get other codes so if you are getting other codes be sure to pay attention to that and so the first thing to go and check for is going to be for any exhaust leaks since if there is any exhaust leaks it can throw these sensors off and this includes anywhere where the flanges are bolted together there'll be gaskets inside of here and if those gaskets blow out then it can let air in and when the air goes in there then it throws the reading off for the sensors so the first thing to do is be sure you don't have any exhaust leaks and so if you don't have any engine problems and you don't have any exhaust leaks then either the sensors have gone bad or the catalytic converter has gone bad so there's different ways you go about troubleshooting this you can't test the sensors and if they test good, then very likely the catalytic converter has gone bad. You could test the catalytic converter. And if it tests good, very likely the sensors have gone bad. Most people start by testing the sensors. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing them. And there's some different methods for how you go about doing that. You can use a multimeter. You can use an OBD2 scan tool and things like this. One thing to keep in mind with those sensors is that if anything's wrong with the wiring, an open, short, bad connection, things like this, it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So that's something to keep in mind. You can also test the catalytic converter. There's some different methods for that. And quite often when these catalytic converters go bad, they get clogged up. And when they get clogged up, the engine has to work extra hard to push the air out. And so because of this reason, the engine quite often has less power. And so if the vehicle doesn't have power like it once did, you go to press on the gas and it just doesn't go very well, then that is a common symptom of a clogged up catalytic converter. There's some different ways you could tell if this has happened. If your Kia has bolts where you bolted in the catalytic converter, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, sometimes they're welded. But if they are, what some mechanics will do is they'll bust loose these bolts. They'll open this up like about a quarter inch or so, right before the catalytic converter. And then they'll drive the vehicle around the block and if it has more power, because the air is getting out easier, then they know that the catalytic converter is clogged up. Another method is to use a low-cost infrared thermometer, and you check the heat before and after the catalytic converter. If it's hotter after the catalytic converter, then that's the way it's supposed to be working, and it's operating properly. But if the temperature is hotter before the catalytic converter, then it means all that air is getting backed up, and it's getting hard to push through. And so it'll be hotter before the catalytic converter than after the catalytic converter. Like I said, there's some good YouTube videos on how you go about troubleshooting them. But the next thing to do is to test one of those O2 sensors and see if one of those failed or test the catalytic converter and see if it's failed. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Kia with the P0420 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.